Hey guys, it's Astrid. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this look. It is kind of a smoky cat eye glitter rock and roll kind of look with fake freckles. Um, fake freckles are one of my favorite things to do to looks. I feel like you look so much like more innocent and angelic with them and like it kind of transforms any kind of look which is why I paired it with a really really dark grungy eye. Um, so if you guys want to see how to get this look just keep on watching. First I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Primetime Eye Primer and this is just going to act as a base for all the eyeliner and shadow I'm about to put on. Next I'm going to go into my Morphe 35W palette, 35 Warm palette, and then I'm just going to go into this top corner shade right here and kind of set that primer. I'm just going to go in with this big Beige Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. Next I'm going to go pretty minimal on the eyeshadow, um, most of it is going to go towards blending out that cat eye, but I am going to go in with just a little bit of this shade right here. I just want to set like a cream peachy shadow all over my lid. Next, I'm going to go in with just a smidge of this kind of really warm brown shade, and I am just going to take that on the outer V of my eye on the same brush. Now I am going to jump right in with my eyeliner. I am going to smudge this out with a pencil liner and then some eyeshadow over top of it, but I do want to use a liquid just to carve out the shape and then we're going to kind of blur it out, but I don't want to do it all with a pencil liner. I just think it's going to be more precise this way. So this is just the Jordana Cat Eye Liner in black leather. it doesn't matter if your eyeliner is perfect because like I said we are going to be messing it up anyway so I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals round the clock midnight eyeliner pencil I guess the color is midnight okay so it's the round the clock liner in the shade midnight and what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be putting a little bit of product on this tart brush um, this is just kind of like a little shader brush that I mostly use to pack on like glitter or anything but I want to smudge out while still being precise like still keeping the shape so I don't want to like go in with an eyeshadow brush quite yet I am gonna do that when it comes to the shadow portion of this so I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of this tart brush and just kind of see how this turns out I am a little scared
Okay, so that wasn't really doing anything, so I guess I am going to go in with just the pencil and then smudge that out. Okay, that really didn't do much of anything at all, so I just put it over top of the liquid liner just to give the eyeshadow I'm about to put on a tacky base to stick to. Now I am going to go into my Lime Crime Venus palette and dig into the shade Icon right here. I do want to use a really dark brown before I go in with black shadow just to give it kind of a fade and a little bit of an ombre so I am just going to take that color onto this little Morphe brush and kind of just blend that right on top of my liner. Alright, as you can see, I did kind of just like line the liquid eyeliner cat eye um, with that icon shade and I did go underneath my lower lash line. Next I am going to go back into my 35 Warm Palette by Morphe and go in to this matte black shade and then take it on the same Morphe brush and smoke that out as well. Alright, so I just spent so much time trying to blend that. It is tricky because you are working with a black shadow. Um, and it's also kind of hard because if you mess up, like I would totally say like fix it with concealer and I tried to, but the whole point is to make it look smudged. So then you have to like go back and then smudge it again and like be extra careful. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. I am going to go back in with my round the clock liner and just go back over it and make it like extra black in the middle and then just go under my waterline.
So I have been debating this whole time if I want to add some glitter to this look and I think that I do because it's just looking a little too dark for me right now. So I'm just going to take this. This is just like a generic um, glitter um, eyeliner that I got from Sally's. You can use any kind of glitter liner or loose glitter with a glue that you want. Um, I think that the Urban Decay Heavy Metal liners would look really good um, with this look because they have like a gunmetal colored one. Um, I wish this was a little darker but it's just silver glitter so I'm just going to pack that on in the middle and kind of do like a halo effect. All right, and I do think that that brightens everything up. I was getting a little discouraged. Um, my eyeliner was just a little too dramatic and dark for me, um, but I think that the glitter just gives it a really like rock and roll vibe and it lightens everything up a little bit. So now I am just going to go in with this NYX eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna go in my waterline. This is in the shade gray. <laughs> they have very simple names. Um, and I'm just going to put this all in my waterline. I am going to dig into my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. You guys already know the drill. Take it on this little Morphe eye brush. And then I'm going to use Tempura for my brow bone highlight and then Vermeer for my inner corner highlight. on to lashes I am going to use my cocoa lashes in the style goddess um so I am just going to put some duo lash glue in dark on them and just let them dry for a few minutes and while that is happening I'm going to apply my mascara lashes are drying and now I'm going to go in with my soap and glory thick and fast mascara and just go really heavy on the lower lash line and um, it's just going to add dimension to that kind of um smoky look that's going on so hopefully this is going to pull the whole look together because i really don't know how happy i am with this right now um hopefully once i do like my concealer and kind of clean up the liner a little bit um i'm gonna like it a little more but right now not my favorite look i've ever done but I knew I was going to do something different today, so it's kind of a trial and error.
Now we can move on to contouring and I am going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. The light one is in the shade 10 Light, the dark is in the shade 30 Cafe. And I am going to be going in with a few dots of my Tarte Brain Force of the Sea Concealer in the shared in the shade <laughs> Fair Light. And really get under that liner. Now I'm going to go in with my Jordana press powder. This is in the shade O2 Natural and just take it on this big fluffy elf brush and just set my entire face with it. I'm gonna go into my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. And go in with that same elf brush and kind of dust everywhere where I've already cream contoured. And also contour my nose with this. I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and kind of dig into all of these bottom shades, just mix them all together, mostly focusing on subconscious right here on this angled BH Cosmetics brush and that is when we are going to really contour if we haven't already enough and just go over under my cheekbones, my nose, 
under my jawline, you know, all the contour spots. Now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics powder brush and just kind of brush away this baking slash pat it into my face a little bit. Now I'm going to take my Milani Rose D'Oro blush that is obviously very very used and take it on the same angled BH Cosmetics brush that I used to contour and just blend that in to my contour and on the apples of my cheeks. Now on to the fun part of this tutorial is the faux freckles and I'm just going to go into my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Palette and as you can tell I use this shade right here for freckles. I dig into it a lot and I'm just taking this Morphe kind of eyeliner brush that is kind of fucked up too but you know I'm gonna make do with what I have. And if you don't like the faux freckle beauty trend, um, just skip this part. Um, it's definitely not necessary for this look. We already have a lot going on right now, but I think it's going to make it a little softer um, and just kind of cutesy. I don't know. We'll see how it looks because the eyes are pretty dark. And I think faux freckles just like make you look like angelic and innocent. And yeah, so I'm just going to go in with that light shade and just... do random dots everywhere and make sure not to just do like a line across like your cheeks and your nose because that looks really unnatural not that this trend is particularly natural looking but on occasion when i have done faux freckles some people thought they were real and i just was wearing like a lighter covered foundation which is like crazy to me because i don't think they look natural but you know they may look better than i think after that what you want to what you're going to want to do is take your beauty blender or makeup sponge, whatever, 
and you are going to have a little residue left from the baking. I'm just going to press the sponge onto my skin and press those freckles in. I don't want them going anywhere. Um, and this way, they're going to look like they're under your makeup, not over your makeup. Already, they look a little lighter and more natural, but there is a reason that I did highlight last um, and freckles before. So now I'm going to go in to my favorite summer from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit and take this on a Morphe fan brush. And I'm just going to highlight everywhere I normally would. And this way, even more so, the freckles are going to look like they are under your makeup and not just like eyeliner dots all over your face. Now, the most important step, I feel like, for fake freckles and melting this all together is to use a good setting spray. And this is just going to make everything look like your actual skin and blend all the colors, the contour, the highlight, all of it together and just melt it on to your natural skin. And just let that soak in. Now I do think you are going to want to do a nude lip with this kind of look or just a glossy one. Um, in this case I'm going to use three different lip products. Um, I wouldn't go too dark with them because your eyes are already like crazy dark. Um, so I'm just going to go in first with this Essence Lip Liner. This is in the shade in the nude 11 and just line my lips with it. I'm going to go in with this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Sand, and this shade, I want to like it so bad, but it's like concealer on my skin almost. So I'm just going to use a little bit in the middle and blend that out with a brush. Kind of give a little bit of an ombre. Now my favorite part of this lip look, I am going to go over all of that with my Soap & Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. And this doesn't have that much color, which is why I put those lipsticks on underneath. Um, just because I want a little bit of color to the lips. And this is a plumping lip gloss. It feels so good and it gives like a really, really good sheen. As you can tell, it has like a little bit of pink, which is good but it's not super pigmented. All right, and that is the completed look. This kind of glittery, rock and roll, smoky cat eye look. I know it looks nothing like the photo that I sent you guys, or that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. Um, that was definitely more subtle, um, but I feel like this is definitely my speed and definitely something I'm going to be doing again. I don't really do like these dark, like only like eyeliner kind of looks very often because I do try to experiment with lots of different eyeshadows. Um, but we did use eyeshadows for this look. All in all, I am really happy with how it turned out. I think the lashes look really good with it, and the freckles make it look a little cutesier and less grungy. Um, and I think this would be perfect for, like, a night out or a concert or anything like that where <laughs> you're feeling a little darker and a little gothier. I don't know, that's not a word, but I just made it one. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. Um, thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments below what you think of this look. If you like it or hate it or whatnot, I could use all the constructive criticism um, you guys have got and just let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!